I forgot about this last transformation when I said that the previous transformation was the last transformation. And so um, one last thing that you could do or one last grouping of things that you could do to an image is you can flip or rotate them. You can flip them horizontally and vertically and you can rotate them 180 degrees or 90 degrees either clockwise or counterclockwise. And so the, the artwork that I'm about to show you this example on may not be the most appropriate artwork for this transformation, but you can see how it would work and it affects the way that you could read the text as well. And so I have that Campbell soup example open and if we were to choose, so I have my my duplicate layer selected. I'll turn the background off. Well, I'll leave it on. Oh, excuse me, I have hiccups again. If you choose edit and then transform and you choose any of these last five options, they'll do what we're talking about. And so I'll demo them really quickly. So they rotate 180 degrees, but basically rotate it and make it upside down. And so everything is still, if you were kind of to turn your head, it's still readable, um, but it's upside down. So you could Maybe you have something and you want it to look like somebody's standing on their head or something like that, so you rotate it. You could also choose Edit Transform and you could just rotate it 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise. And so you could turn something on its side, like such. You could choose Edit, whoops, edit Transform and then you can flip it horizontally or vertically, but be careful because when you flip it horizontally you might get a cool S shape to your cans but now all your cans are wrong reading and you can't read what they say. And then you could also choose Edit Transform and you could flip it vertical. And so flipping it vertical um, will also make it look like it's upside down, but now the text is backwards and so keep that in mind if you're going to do this transformation.